Welcome back guys, this is the Hyperx OC Takeover Season 3 Grand Final uh, debrief and I'm here with the winner of Stage 1 and the winner of the two previous season, Extreme Addict. Hey man, how are you doing? Well, I'm tired. I'm really <laughs> tired. After two days of competition, Two days that's of competition normal. and a trip to China for Galax competition, so it's like we are exhausted. <laughs> well, you did perform well. You finished second in uh, this year competitions, so that's the first time you don't win the Hyperx OC Takeover. Uh, what is your feeling overall about this event? Well, uh, to be honest, it's really a nice venue here in HQ in California. Well, we are used to the ballroom in uh, Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, but it's still really nice. Well, th that's perfect. And uh, in, indeed, there was a fierce battle between you, Asan, and Lucky Noob. You guys finished all in the top three, and that was a huge battle for that. But I want to spend more time on stage one. Stage one was the maximum memory frequency, and you managed to slam that uh, that stage. Um, can you tell us more, like, uh, what was the final score that you achieved and how it, it did happen? Uh, well, uh, my final score was around 15 megahertz more than uh, second uh, place. And uh, to be honest, it was like this. Uh, I did the score 2127, like practically just uh, straight boot from uh, BIOS. Mm -hmm. It was really easy. Um, I got the score in like, I don't know, five, 10 minutes, maybe 15 in the beginning of the uh, competition. And uh, later, it was really hard to squeeze those uh, last few megahertz. It was uh, a lot of tweaking, a lot of changing many options in BIOS, uh, losing in uh, tertiaries, um, also playing with uh, voltage uh, for uh, motherboard, uh, uh, south bridge and, mm. uh, and so on. It was like really, and also pushing maximum voltage uh, to uh, CPU because it's like most likely the stick could do much more but uh, I was limited by IMC and CPU so it was like I was in really high danger zone with system agent uh, voltage according well in theory according to Skylake extreme overclocking guides uh, it's uh, the highest voltage for LN2 is around 1.35 not, not to push more than 1.35, I was running 1.5. <laughs> so it was <laughs> that, like... That's all safe. Yeah, all, all safe, safe at the settings. Yes, yes, exactly. And I didn't want to uh, push too much uh, to kill the CPU. So it was like I was really uh, balancing. But that was the first stage and you have to make sure that everything was still working for after because yeah. if you burn something, it's it's out for you. You can you cannot have a, a spare. Uh, so you were using only one memory stick for this specific stage, I guess, like as everyone else. Uh, so that would make sense yeah. if you want to reach high frequency on this. Um, what was your overall feeling about the competition regarding the preparation for it? Did you prepare a very a lot for it or that was just like, I will well, come, uh, show my magic well, and that's uh, it? Most likely show my magic because uh, first thing, uh, the competition, uh, during the competition we are using AFR, being of uh, Hynix memories. Uh, and uh, those were not available in retail channels before the competition. So I was preparing on old sticks, all the MFR bin, which is pretty similar, behaves uh, in a similar way. Uh, so I was able to prepare, uh, let's say, profile with uh, tight timings for XTU stage, uh, also to try max frequency on those. And uh, I was aware that AFR on similar settings will just fly higher because they are better. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked pretty well for me. So um, how did you like the new, uh, the new AFR uh, modules so far on, on this one? Do you think that's going to be a killer for the next, uh, the next few months? We will see. Uh, so far I saw some really nice uh, frequency with tight timings from uh, Samsung uh, uh, BDI. Because right now the most popular Samsung bean, the best one in uh, retail uh, memories, is E bean, mm -hmm. and it's it's pretty strong, stronger than AFR on air, but AFR on LN2 are faster than Samsung E die. Uh, but it seems like Samsung E die can uh, clock also really high with even lower uh, lower timings than uh, AFR, especially tier C D and tier P. 
Uh, but on the other hand, the screens so uh, which I have seen so far, uh, the efficiency wasn't that good, in fact. Because sometimes it happens uh, because of uh, density and uh, um, uh, uh, rank, uh, ranks, uh, uh, double-sided or single-sided. Uh, so sometimes uh, some memories even clock high, like let's say uh, from DDR3, a typical MFR memories, but DDR3. They were like crazy uh, frequencies, but efficiency was so bad the with those. Th that's the thing. There's so much involved in uh, in the memory sticks and yeah, the memory and also, uh, memory uh, and also all about the time IMC. And, and the IMC of the CPU as well. And uh, that's where all the, this chip discussion, we didn't uh, spend too much time on the live talking about like the BDI, the EBIN and so on, because that was like, that's, that's only us, uh, you guys, extreme overclockers, would really care about that. Uh, while uh, most of the guys uh, are watching us right now on Twitch will be like, I want to get this kit, I want to plug it, I want it to work, and I will maybe just play with the XMP settings. Um, talking about uh, stage one, uh, you, you did uh, extremely well. You managed to be first. Um, stage two and stage three, uh, how was it for you? Because stage two was a tight paddle on XTU as well. Well, yes. Uh, I, with Hazan, we are running the highest frequency for memories for XTU, and uh, I had uh, only. I managed uh, to pass only one, so on those settings, and uh, I got uh, my score, which was 1586. And XTO is a known application that you have to press rerun, rerun, and wait yeah, for, better score. for a better Espe score. Is coming yeah. up. Especially on Windows 10, first, always first score is uh, lower. So, in fact, if I manage to rerun at those settings, I think I would. Uh, get higher score than Hazan because it's like uh, depends from a uh, platform from uh, operating system settings but most it's like uh, you have variation uh, of the score let's say from two to six points so and that's exactly what happened you guys were at uh, 1584 yeah. all together at some point then uh, um, you managed to do like 1586 and then Hazan tried to do that as well and then that's when Hazan managed to be uh, 1588 and passed in front of that. Yeah. And that's what we'll be talking with Hazan in the next few minutes, just by the time for us to uh, go catch him in uh, in the room. Uh, thank you, Extreme Addict. Congratulations on your second you. place for the uh, IPREX OC Takeover Season 3. And uh, we'll be uh, sure seeing you around for other competition as well. Thank you, guys. Uh, stay here. We're going to be uh, talking with uh, Lucky Noob, Hassan, and Dr. Wiz in the next few minutes.